The New York Times published a report Thursday detailing nearly three decades of sexual harassment allegations against Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein, who is also a co-founder of the powerhouse film company Miramax. The report alleged that Weinstein would frequently invite actresses, including Ashley Judd and Rose McGowan, and Miramax employees to hotel rooms where he would ask them for messages, request that they watch him shower, or give him unsolicited messages to the woman. One account even accused the 65-year-old movie mogul of promising career advancement in exchange for sexual favors. Weinstein released a statement explaining that he grew up in a different era, where rules in the workplace were different. He apologized for his action and said he would take a leave of absence from Miramax and will instead channel his anger into finding the National Rifle Association. Weinstein's statement has been widely criticized across the political spectrum as a piece of sophisticated deflection. The report relies on mostly hearsay accounts and a faulty report apparently stolen from an employee personal file which has been debunked by nine different eyewitnesses. We sent the Times the facts and evidence, but they ignored it and rushed to publish. We are preparing the lawsuit now. The process will be donated to women's organization Weinstein Liar said Thursday.